In 1969, an eight-year-old girl disappeared in Foster City, California. Though her body was recovered two months later, the police didn't have a single suspect. That wasn't until 20 years later. In 1989, Eileen Franklin, a childhood friend of the missing girl, was struck with a sudden memory. Thus began a complex trial that saw Elizabeth Loftus herself testifying for the defense of George Franklin. He became virtually the first American citizen to be convicted of murder based on nothing other than a claim of repressed memory that had returned. The trial remains a pretty shocking example of a potential false memory leading to incarceration. It begs the question, just how common are false memories? And can we really trust our own justice systems?